Welcome back, everybody. I hope you are all doing well. It's a wonderful fall day here in Wyoming. Perfect weather to do some leather working, and I have a great project for us today. This is a sheath I made a few days ago for my Buck 113, one of my favorite hunting knives. This sheath, though, does not have a belt loop on it. This is a pack sheath. I made this just to have something low profile that I could throw in my pack or throw in my pocket, and I've been surprised how much I actually love this sheath. But I do want to make one with a belt loop, so that's what we're going to do today. Stick with me through the video and let me know if you have questions at the end. And if you feel I've earned it, please give me a subscription so you can see more fun projects coming up. We're going to want to sew in a spacer along the bottom of the sheath so that when we go to insert the knife, we don't cut those threads out. To do that, you can use the piece of leather that you cut your sheath out of. This is actually a piece of leather that I used to cut one of these sheaths out previously, but the contour is already there. Before we get this glued together though, we need to take care of some edges. Once this is glued and sewed, we won't have access to these edges here. And we have to make sure that we sew our belt loop down first. We won't have access to these edges after that. So I'm gonna take care of these edges.
on this last stitch, I often have to use a pair of pliers to pull the needle through all the way, just because the fit is so tight. Wait until this is dry to the touch or very tacky. So this is a pretty good sign. Time to get it a little damp and mark our lines for sewing. With the leather still a little bit damp, I like to come around with my awl and redefine this line where the stitches will rest.
Now we're ready to insert the knife and do some wet molding. Sure you get it positioned exactly how you want it in the sheath because once you wet mold it and it dries that's how the knife will go in every time Let this dry for a little bit, and then I'll come back and work it one more time, and then let it dry all the way. We've got it all dried out. We're really close to being done. We just have a couple things left to do. We'll finish these edges, and I'm going to dip this sheath in some wax. We'll do one final bit of forming, and we'll be done. I've got my wax up to temperature and all melted and ready to go. I've got my knife on hand so that I can put it in the sheath while it's still warm coming out of this wax and do a little bit of final forming. If you haven't seen my videos on wax dipping, follow the links in the description. I've had a couple of videos where I've talked about dipping leather goods in wax. This happens to be 20% beef tallow and 80% wax, and that seems to be a combination that works pretty well for me. I'll set this here and let it cool. Well, let me know what you guys think. Your comments are really appreciated. I like hearing your opinions and thoughts. I have a couple more sheaths I'm going to be making soon. I've got a Kershaw, a Case sheath, so stay tuned and subscribe. Your subscription would help me greatly. I'm trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers to see if I can get some monetization that will help me buy more leather and more tools to be able to make more of these videos.